guys, it's hourly and it is currently August 7th, 10, 28 a.m. And today is early moving day at Fordham. So what does that mean? Basically because of coronavirus to control social distancing and people being on campus at certain times and not, if you are from like around the area, I'm like about an hour and 30 minutes away from campus. They're allowing us to go in, move in our stuff early and then go back home until the first day of school. We're not allowed to stay overnight. You're not allowed to unpack, you're not allowed to decorate and you have to wear your mask while you're there and follow certain social distance rules. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me for that because you know, I know some people are interested in seeing what's going on in the college industry and how are schools monitoring coronavirus. I'm gonna start off by taking a head count of everything. We plan on leaving around 10, 15 a.m. With that out the way, let's get on with the video. Here's a time lapse of me taking inventory of the items I'm bringing. When it came to this early belonging move-in day, I didn't bring 100% of my things, but I would say I brought a good 75% or 60% of what I need in total. I didn't want to bring all the clothes and just certain items just because there are things that I use day to day that I will need in the days leading up to move-in day. In the description box, I'll leave a link to the packing list I found on Pinterest, which I found very helpful. It's the list that I ended up using and I just added or took away things depending on personal preference. Then I packed everything in the car with the help of my dad and we were off to New York. Being on campus was like being in a dream. Because of coronavirus, the open houses, they got canceled, admitted students days, everything just went online. So I didn't really get to see the campus in person, but being there was so nice. Literally the Rose Hill campus at Fordham University looks like Hogwarts. In that moment, you just start thinking, this is where I'm gonna be for the next four years. And then I finally saw my room. Before I break everything down, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about Queens Court itself. At Fordham University, Queens Court is the wellness dorm. You have to do an application process and you also have to sign a pledge that you're not gonna smoke or drink alcohol as a freshman. The dorm itself is divided into three halls. Each hall has a certain perk or little benefit to the rooms. In Roberts, the rooms are slightly larger. In John's, they have walk-in closets. And in Bishop's, they have private bathrooms. The thing is, everything's kind of random, so you don't get to choose what you get. You simply get what you get and you don't get upset. Now I'm gonna show you everything in my room. The view may be a little bit distorted, but that's because I have it zoomed out. So you can see I have a light in my room. So yes, we have a light switch. You can turn on and turn off the lights. There are two beds. The room came with desks, chairs, 
a little shelf thing and also two sets of drawers one for me and my roommate we got an ac which was noise i'm gonna show you guys inside of the drawers and what they look like they're pretty deep they can hold your stuff in there there's an outlet underneath the bed on the right side the view from the window looks pretty nice and it came with blinds i didn't have to buy those Here's the little shelf I was talking about. It looks nice for extra storage. Now I'm gonna show you the closet, which is both a con and a pro. The pro is that because the closet is so small, the actual room has so much space. But the con is that the closet itself is really cramped and awkward. Like you have to walk inside of it to use it. And it's just really strange. There's also little locks in the closet, but it locks from the inside. So I didn't really get how that works. And I also don't have a key. Anyway, here you can see that there's two shelves on the top of the closet and there's a rod where you can hang your stuff. But once again, it's awkward to use it. The room also came with these little command hooks that were left there by previous tenants. These people left the Velcro ones and just hooks all over the place, which honestly are gonna be really nice to use and just have them extra. They even put them in the closet. Then underneath the desk on the right side, I found an outlet where you can probably plug in your laptop to charge or just whatever you need it for. The previous people also lined the inside of the desk drawers with this contact paper that makes it look really cute. It's interesting seeing all these little added bonuses that, you know, you didn't know was coming with the room, but now that it's there, now you get to enjoy it. And here I'm showing you that the other one didn't have it. So you would have to do that yourself. The mattresses are made of this slippery waterproof material. They're also pretty like thick, thick as my hand. Here's me playing with it, showing you guys how it has bed risers so you can like rise it up higher, put it down lower. I think mine's at the highest, but I didn't check. Also, here's another command hook that was left in the wall by a previous owner. And here I am again, showing you guys like the little light on the top of my room and here's them turning it on. So you can see what that looks like. I would guess maybe the only concern is the discoloration of the panels on the ceiling. Usually that means that they had to be replaced. I know the building's old, but that could be a sign that maybe there was water damage there. But hey, at least I got heating and cooling systems. In regards to the actual moving in process, I had my sister and my dad help me carry everything up and down the stairs. I'm on a higher floor, which was really annoying because we had to go up so many stairs with so much stuff. And then in terms of actually storing everything, I just had to kind of throw everything underneath my bed because once again, you're not allowed to unpack or to decorate. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you found this helpful, whether you will be an incoming freshman at Fordham soon, or if you're older than me, younger than me, a future generation down the line. It's like a much later year. I don't know. I don't know what you're dealing with. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and sticking by. If you enjoyed what you saw, smash that like button. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to see more of me. If you want to binge watch my videos. Just saying, just, put, just putting that out there. I hope you guys love yourselves, treat yourselves right, stay positive, and whatever you're going through, you will make it through this. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.